Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 10 of our Let's Play. We are still in a pretty good spot. Lots of food, lots of oxygen being generated, a lot of our facilities up and online. We have our little burn ward here for Bert uh, because we kind of built these kilns in an area with a gas that doesn't have very high thermal heat capacity. And it's nice because it disinfects all the clay that we're turning into ceramic. It's not so nice in that um, a lot of people have been getting, well, mainly just Bert, have been getting burned as they walk by it or operate it. So let's get started. The thing we're working on right now is getting this uh, bedroom all nice and tidy. And to that end, we will be taking some granite tile here and doing a little bit of this. That's why we left this part kind of undug out, that way people can reach this stuff. We might have to build a ladder scaffolding for here. No, I think we're good. Research-wise, we have pretty much everything important done. There's not really a whole lot else that I'm super concerned about. Smart batteries will be nice to work with the coal at some point. Ranching, animal control. We have, we have slime turning into algae and the water sieve. Stuff that's important, but not really critical what we're doing at the moment. We're slowly getting this filled up with CO2. We've got a nice little pocket of oxygen here, which is nice. That way, for most of the time, they can just breathe easy. And we have, of course, our huge oxygen generation over here. Um, we're basically just supplying our entire base with oxygen just from the polluted water that dropped from these algae terrariums. They're all disabled at this point. We don't have anything, anything using algae right now, which is uh, pretty powerful. We're basically just straight up electrolyzing this water, which I really like. All right, so working on this bedroom here, I'm just going to crank this up to a higher speed. I'm going to keep an eye on uh, stress. Stinky, of course, still, still having some problems here. But uh, hopefully a little bit of time indoors ought to make things a little bit nicer for him. I do want to set up hatch ranches at some point and improve my coal production. And now we can dig out this. We'll also dig out this. This as well. And we're just going to make a uh, this into a nice a nice bedroom. Take all this junk on the floor that's currently lowering the decor values and let it just fall to here, which is going to be for a while, at least, an underused room. How goes our explorations? I think I also, at this point, want to start expanding outwards and seeing what we can find. We found a neural vacillator down here, which is going to be nice. I want to explore it a little bit in this direction. I think we've kind of... We've, this is the edge of the map, so... Um, we kind of know what's out here, but I think I want to do something over here. And I think this is where I want to start with some insulated tile. In fact, uh, well, I'll not just queue it all up at once right now. We're going to dig it out in parts. This is one way that you can kind of get past some of these little tight areas. Because I, I do like having it on this level, I think. Um, you, can, you can dig diagonally and the air won't get through. And uh, then we'll just dig out this and dig out this and make our way across like that. All these should still be producing ceramic temperatures fine. The problem is when we turn these on, just because there isn't enough thermal heat capacity here, it gets a little bit rough. Dig out this. Get all this as well. And then we're just going to replace this entire floor with granite and have all this clutter drop. We'll do it in parts. That way no one gets trapped. Which occasionally happens. It's not hugely important. I mean, this is a pretty high traffic area, but still good, good practice. Yeah, and all that junk goes away. Mm. 
more nice, fine granite, please. Awesome. We're basically just going to watch the decor value of this place just rise in real time. This place got terrible now. 100, negative 160, negative 131. Not surprising, it's got a bunch of ugly buildings and now a bunch of debris on the ground. New duplicates available. Let's get out of this, this view. Anybody with diver's lungs? Nope. Gonna reject you all. Man, some of these are unconstructed though. Never mind. I don't I don't worry about it for a second. We're only taking diver's lungs people, we're taking all diver's lungs people. That's the plan. Research done. Perfect. Uh, what do we want? Let's work towards the uh, smart batteries. Smart batteries are nice. The, the, they pair with coal really well. They take a lot of the, the thought out of how you manage your circuit. Oh yeah, this got a lot better. Okay, so, um, I think we might as well, while we are at it, Fill the rest of this with cots. There we go. This will be our our barracks. What is the next major thing we want to be tackling here? I do want to get down to this neural vacillator. I think we just want to focus on taking out this area, keeping the kiln supplied. Is that? Switch the temperature overlay. It is. Huh, okay. So there is a geyser of some sort here. I'm not sure what. Yeah, so now I definitely want to expand out in this direction. Figure out what we have working with us here. If it's uh if it's something hot, we want to kind of wall it off. I'm not sure we quite have enough ceramic at this point to do that. This area's getting hot. Oh yeah, this place is getting hot. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see if we have scalding problems. Hopefully not. If we do, we can deal with it, but I'd rather not have this sort of problem, if possible. We have a lot of work for Stinky, ultimately, because he's our only miner. Speaking of jobs and miners, I don't really want to take anybody off of anything right now, but we're probably going to take Frankie and make her a miner. Just so we can relieve some of the uh, the duties from Stinky, put them onto somebody else. He's still struggling a little bit with his stress problems here. Oxygen wise, things are looking good. Gets produced here, diffused down. We basically have an equilibrium at this point. Oh no, yeah. All right, let's uh. Let's just have them finish up whatever they're working on. And maybe figure out a better place to put these kilns. We could put them in this colder area here, which wouldn't be bad. Okay, so what else do we want to be working on? Have our large bedrooms. Have our mess hall. I think we want to get rid of this art. It's not really improving much of anything, and we will uh, sweep up any junk we have in this room. Give our dupes a nice little place to eat. Doesn't have garbage strewn all over the ground.
slowly but surely we're coming on from whatever that is. I'm going to start thinking about where I'm going to lay out my ranching. Because those are fairly large operations, usually. And also, uh, with my ranches, I like to have a lot of storage in the, the ranches. That way, I'm not really wasting space. Uh, how crowded... Hmm, how crowded your, your ranches are depends upon how many tiles you give to the, to the creatures with hatches requiring 12 and Drekos requiring 16 per per creature. And as a consequence... Oh yeah, we're having a little bit of temperature issues here. As a consequence, um, you end up with a lot of sort of dead space a lot of the time. And having something to do with it is important, but it also means that you kind of want it to be close by other things. I think we just want people to be digging out stuff here. Me all this and we'll just do it like this. Just dig out a lot of this area, get ourselves some more clay. Perfect. Alright, so it is a cool steam vent. Alright, so we do want to get somebody out here relatively quickly and seal this all up. Okay, so, this, I think, becomes a new big priority, because we don't want to just leave this alone until it heats up too much. That seems like a pretty bad idea. We'd like to get down here and uh, start doing some stuff. So, let's just dig out an area like this. See what we're working with a little bit better here. Maybe it's wrong to have this area digging out now. The chlorine is taking care of pretty much all the germs that are coming off the stuff. I think we do want to just kind of clear out a little bit of this though, when we can. So that this chlorine falls a little bit further, fills up this area. We have some oxygen up in here as well. Which is not going to kill it off quite as fast. Oh yeah, this thing's hot. Mm, this is a little awkward. Okay. Hmm. So, how do we plan on tackling this? It's a little awkward because it has this area next to it right here, which is going to interfere with things a little bit. But I basically want to cap this off and have ceramic all around it. Um, certainly I want to have ceramic on this side, edging towards my base, but yeah, we need to, we need to get to this relatively quick. There's no germs or anything. Oh, there's apparently some germs in this area randomly. That's fine. These will probably just all die off. Hmm. <laughs> so. What do we want to do here? I need to get to here fairly quickly. In terms of ceramic, though, I don't think we quite have... 5.2 tons sounds like a lot, but for capping this off, it might not be. Alright, so... Let's... 
uh, say we're going to uproot this. And I think we will create like a little pool area for water to collect. And then we'll just sort of hard cap things off over here. And yeah, we'll just have the ceramic wall basically right here next to the cool steam vent. That sounds like a plan. Um, in which case, I think that we want to just get ourselves a ladder, make it out of igneous rock. I think four wide is fine. So we'll set up a ladder here. And we're basically going to build a little holding area for the water um, and then we'll cap off the rest of this. In fact, let's go ahead and work on that as well. And we'll do it like this. And then we can start replacing uh, Ultimately, we're going to just going to dig out all this area, aren't we? So I think we want to do this as well. All right, that seems fine. Once we break into here, we'll get some of the oxygen from here, but we'll also be really on a clock for how we deal with this temperature. I guess we're just letting these cool off for a little bit. The chlorine is still pretty much just killing off all this stuff, even though there are little pockets here that we don't really like to see. The oxygen is slowly coming up. We're getting, getting a little bit more air transfer here, which is good. Maybe we should dump some more chlorine here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Would take some work though to get up to around here. But yeah, sooner we get to here and close it off, the better. Don't want that heat getting all up into my base. All right, let's just try one it running one of these. Keep that going, see how it works. Because we do need that ceramic for the insulation. Alright, this is pretty nice actually. This means that we can start working towards our more in-game oxygen generation. Just a second. Hmm. Two more right here. Okay. And a natural gas geyser down here. Okay, so there's actually a lot to work with down here. This is something we will be dealing with. This, is, I think, is the new priority. So we want more oxygen generation, I think, at this point. We'll try and get down here. So, we are also going to dig out some of this try and get more more airflow. I think we're going to get these algae terrariums up and going again. So we're going to dig up this. Well, this is not a good spot to wait. All right. So let's dig out these areas as well. The oxygen that bad? It's gonna be hot. Yeah, this is a little bit of an issue. Okay. So we have this e these areas dug out. And now I think we need to slowly start capping all this off. We're gonna start with ceramic here and we'll have the ceramic start here and go right here as well 
That sounds good. We'll need gold amalgam pumps, and we'll need insulated pipes. Because this will get very hot after we've capped it. It'll also be nice to sweep up all this area here. So, let's also work on that. Um, sure. We're just going to stick a couple storage bins right here. And we're going to have them grab up all this stuff. What priority are these set to at the moment? Six. Okay, so we're going to say that these are sweep only all six. These are sweep only all six. And we're going to sweep up some of this stuff here. A lot of the work is just ferrying all this uh, get those running as well I guess a lot of the work is just gonna be ferrying all the ceramic that we're ending up producing over here over to this area so it's 400 per tile which is a lot 400 kilograms. We don't have a lot of people who have completed the the gopher training yet. Oh, this is inconvenient. Okay. And let's enable all these if we're <laughs> if we're doing this. Probably should have done that first before we dug out that area. One by one, turn all these on. All right, perfect. So, interesting. We have our first steam vent. Uh, we have another couple of vents down here which we'll investigate. We have a natural gas geyser over here. So this is looking like it's gonna be a really good area to move into and, and do stuff with. Um, we also, we're trying to get this back online and dig out this area. How are we doing on germs? Still fine. Um, we'll need to probably open up a little bit more chlorine to come down here and clear this out. Right now it's a lot of polluted oxygen, which is not not really what we want to see. But uh, sweeping all this up, getting this cleared out for our large sort of steam creation area here. We might want to put in some blocks of thermally reactive stuff as well just so that there's a place for heat to go. Research. Alright. Let's pick our research and then we'll cut the episode here. Uh, ranching. Sure, why not. Cut the episode here and next episode we'll work on getting this all set up and capped off and having all that work as we want it to. Alright. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was episode 10 of our Oxygen Not Include Let's Play and I'll see you in the next episode.